Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video, we are going to solve one very interesting exponential equation for the real values of a. So let's get started by writing our exponent's denominator cannot be 0. So answer can't be negative 1. Now I will write equation as 25 power 5 minus a over 2 is common. So in the bracket a plus 1. Then we have 25 raised to the power 1 over a plus 1 equal to 30. Now we know that a power b times c we can write a power b whole power c. Let's apply. So I will write 25 power half and then whole power 5 minus a over a plus 1. Then we have 25 power 1 over a plus 1 equal to 30. Now we know that 25 power half is square root 25 so we can write 5 directly. Then we have 5 minus a over a plus 1 plus 25 power 1 over a plus 1 equal to 30. Now we will target this exponent. We can write 5 minus a as 6 minus a plus 1. Let me write here 5 power 5 minus a. We will write 6 minus a plus 1 over 1 plus a or a plus 1. Then we have 25 power 1 over a plus 1 equal to 30. Now I will split. I will write 5 power 6 over a plus 1 minus a plus 1 over a plus 1. Then we have 25. So we can write 5 is square and then whole power is 1 over a plus 1. RHS is 30. Now a plus 1, a plus 1 will be over. We will get 1 here. So 5 power 6 over a plus 1 minus 1 plus 5 power a power b whole power c is a power b c. So I will write 5 power 2 over a plus 1 equal to 30. Now I can write 5 power 6 we can write 3 times 2. So 3 times 2 over a plus 1 minus 1 plus 5 power 2 over a plus 1 equal to 30. Now we can assume 2 over a plus 1 equal to suppose m. So let us consider 2 over a plus 1. Suppose this is equal to m. So we can write our equation 5 power 3m minus 1 plus 5 power m equal to 30. Now I can write here one exponent property a power b minus c. We can write a power b over a power c. So this property we will apply here. We will be getting 5 power 3m over 5. 5 power 1 or 5 plus 5 power m equal to 30. Now we will multiply our equation by 5 both sides. So I can multiply in RHS by 5 in LHS by 5. Multiply with 5 both sides. 
so we will get 5 power 3m plus 5 times 5 power m equal to 150. Now 5 power 3m using exponent law I can write 5 power m whole cube plus 5 times 5 power m equal to 150. Now we will assume 5 power m equal to y suppose. So let 5 power m equal to y. So our cubic equation will become y cube plus 5y equal to 150. Now we have to solve this cubic equation and I will use method of factorization. So I will write equation y cube plus 5y minus 150 equal to 0. Or we can write y cube plus 5y and minus 150 can be written as minus 125 minus 25 equal to 0. Now 125 is 5 cube, 25 is 5 square. So we can write y cube minus 5 cube. Then we will write plus 5y. Then we will write. 25 as 5 is square equal to 0. Now here we will apply a cube minus b cube formula. So I will write y minus 5 times y square plus 5y plus 25. And here from last two terms we will take 5 common out. So plus 5 is common, in bracket we will get 5 minus 5 equal to 0. Now y minus 5 is overall common. So in other bracket we will get y square plus 5y plus 25 plus 5 plus 5 equal to 0. Or we can write y minus 5 times y square plus 5y plus 25 plus 5. So plus 30 equal to 0. So from here I can conclude either y minus 5 will be 0 or y square plus 5y plus 30 equal to 0. Now for this quadratic equation we will check the discriminant value as we are looking for real solutions. So let us write discriminant d equal to b square minus 4ac. Now b is 5 so we will write 5 square minus 4 times a is coefficient of y square 1, c is constant 30. This will give us 25 minus 4 times 30, 120. So discriminant will come out negative 95. Now discriminant is negative, we will get complex solutions. So we can reject this solution or this quadratic equation easily. Now accepted equation will be y minus 5 equal to 0. So from here I can write y will be equal to 5. Now y was our substitution 5 power m. So I will write 5 power m equal to 5 or 5 power 1. Now bases are same. So exponent must be equal to each other. So we will get m equal to 1. So m equal to 1, m was our substitution. If I will write here m equal to 1, m was 2 over a plus 1 equal to 1. Now we will cross multiply a plus 1 
equal to 2. So we will get our answer. A will be equal to 2 minus 1. So 1. Now equation is written here. We will verify our result. So verification. A equal to 1. I will write LHS. 25 power 5 minus 1 over 2 times 1 is 2. So 2 plus 2. Then we have 25 power is 1 over 1 plus 1. This will give us 25 raised to the power 4 over 4. So I will write 1 plus 25 raised to the power half. Now 25 power 1 is 25 and 25 power half is a square root 25 which will be equal to 5. So addition will come out 30 and 30 is our RHS. Hence our solution is true. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye.